Hello, it's Season Fan here with another house build. This is just gonna be a sort of normal house build, maybe. Uh, I do have to put this out right now. My windows are open, so there is a chance that you might hear some background noise. I can't help it. Uh, it just is, and we just need to deal with it, and that was what I had to say. Um, it's uh, Monday here, and I was planning on building just a small, a smallish house. Uh, just this, but then it ended up being bigger. And now we're here, doing a voiceover. Um, as expected, there's not a lot going on in my life. So yeah, as I just said, I was planning on just making a smallish house. Nothing too uh, extravagant, if you ask me. But then it turned out to end up a bit bigger, I think. Uh, this are uh, these are three recordings. I was crushed into one video, mostly because I think after the recording of this first part, I really need to use the bathroom. Uh, so that's just where we are. Uh, and I think now I'm gonna try and voice over this. This is gonna be like a bit of a blue house. Uh, nothing too fancy or something like that it's just i think a bit of a standard house looking at the screenshots it's a bit of a blue house uh, i do think blue is like uh, an easy color to build with if you find a nice blue and this is like a bluish grayish color which is uh, quite nice um I think at least, and I think it also turned out quite nice, which is also great, I think, sort of like that. Um, anything else going on in my life, not really, no. But at the moment you can see me placing in some um, placeholders furniture to just see how it ends up. Uh, uh, with the size, which at this point I then realized that it definitely is just too small and it won't work the way I want it to. So here we are, we just extend it a bit because uh, I had uh, desires to have a bigger house, something like that. At least I had a plan what I wanted this house to be like and then it just didn't uh, end up like that. And I also really wanted an ensuite. I don't think ensuites are a very typical Dutch thing, but I enjoy them. These sort of uh, in this house builds so I uh, placed one in as one does um, yeah And one of the pro tips when you're building a house in The Sims is to, that's something I learned from the Little Sims, uh, roof the biggest part first. And that's what I did. Uh, I am, um, yeah. Not, not much to chat about, if I'm completely honest. I am, of course, at the end, gonna move these columns 
so that they are neatly in the middle of the vents and not on this tile. But uh, I don't enjoy building with move objects on because then you can just randomly place stuff everywhere and that just doesn't make much sense to me. So I don't do that. But I do enjoy um, enjoy the view of it so I can then put it on, do whatever I want to do and then uh, what you call that? Uh, turn it off again. Because it, it, it's useful, this move objects on. It's useful sometimes. But other times it's not. And then it's just more of a hassle. And I don't think anybody's really looking for a hassle. Uh, I don't think at least. I also squeezed in this extra bathroom you just saw. We're now picking out some furnishing. I do would say that the layout is a bit odd you walk in straight into the kitchen uh, that is a bit odd but we make do it, it could have been weirder and i um, don't know where or why i'm deciding to do this but i've been doing that in a couple of builds lately doing a smaller tile in the middle of the room and then um, making it be surrounded by something else. I think that's sometimes a thing that people go for in the house. Sometimes. And I decided to give it a try. See, I was also playing around with the fact that I might want it this entryway. Because it's pretty weird if you just straight walk into somebody's kitchen. But unfortunately, that was not, not a room that we had. We don't have room to do something like that. So I uh, decided against it. Or something like that. Really good words. Um, yeah, it's Monday. I know something I can chat about. So there's this app here in the Netherlands. I think it's uh, all around Europe thingy. Uh, it's an app called Too Good To Go where you can uh, reserve a box it's called a magic box uh, where you can reserve this magic box uh, at a place where they would normally throw away the food because as the app says it's too good to go but it's also not an option to sell it the next day which and uh, sounds nice, right? Uh, and uh, I enjoy usually uh, getting a box every now and then from the bakery. From the bakery? Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, nearby, it's uh, usually stocked with bread or um, little bread walls. Uh, this Dutch thing called Eierkoeken. I had a lot of Eierkoeken from them. Uh, uh, and croissants, uh, baguettes, anything a baker could have. And there are also the sausage rolls, very typical Dutch thing. Not the sausage rolls that everybody else in the world knows, but the Dutch version of that. Uh, I once had uh, donuts from them. I also twice had uh, pastries, uh, like uh, a tart sort of thing. Uh, and with most of, the, I think, with everything I've had so far, I can just freeze that. So it's the only big thing that I have to think about in uh, before I do it is if do I have enough time space in my freezer because I only have a small freezer just a small one so that means that uh, I often uh, will tell my oldest brother that I uh, am going to reserve one of these boxes so then if I have extra I can uh, go over to his and 
my brother has two kids and a wife and <laughs> yeah i think one loaf of bread is like two days and it's gone something like that uh, maybe three i don't know so yeah i usually uh, will uh, go to there get a box from the bakery and uh, it's almost like Christmas evening or Christmas morning when you open presents. Because it, it's a surprise. It l literally is just a box. You have no clue. It's usually in a, a plastic bag. But still I have no t clue what's really in it. Unless it's something on the top floor. Because it's usually all uh, um, in paper bags. So yeah, you don't really have a clue what you get until you're home and then when you're home you uh, I open up the bag and unload it all to my to my uh, dining table and then see what's in there and decide uh, what to do with it and usually I freeze the bread uh, in four slices I make separate bags with four slices in each of them so I have bread for two days because I generally don't eat uh, bread for lunch. I usually go with a salad or um, maybe a wrap now, now and then. And sometimes I will make some kind of a healthy sandwich with some cucumber or something in it. But not a lot. So uh, that means four slices will do me for two days and then you don't have to throw anything away, which is nice. Um, so as I've now done that over the past two years, about 12 times, uh, and uh, it's like after that, after I uh, put all the slices in separate bags, uh, it's like a game of Tetris, trying to fit it into my freezer. Because I generally uh, wouldn't mind having it all. What's also something I haven't mentioned yet is that you pay uh, five euros for this bag and the normal value of it is 15 euros so you always make a profit I have never really had uh, a box that was um, not a uh, up to this value usually it's over and of course it's a bakery so stuff is more expensive than when you buy it in a supermarket so last week i did something different uh, the supermarket usually that I usually go to also has one of those magic boxes, but then just filled with vegetables and fruit. And uh, the downside to that is that you don't know what you're getting. Like it's always that case, but it's normally with bread. Uh, and if I have to finish all of these vegetables and fruit by myself. Uh, that's uh, something that I have to do for my evening meals for my dinner so then uh, I have to uh, wait till I see what I get till I can figure out what I'm gonna eat that week but uh, last Sunday so last, no, last Sunday uh, Sunday a week ago I picked up my first uh, magic box like that uh, and it was filled with lots of stuff. There was uh, spinach in spinach, spinach. I can't even talk. Uh, in there, uh, I had a uh, basil plant, baby spinach, uh, two bananas, an apple with one bruised spot on there. Um, um, green peas I'm trying to think what else did I have because there was more in there it was just uh, 
a whole a box of goodies with all kinds of uh, green stuff. A bit much spinach, but I made two. What else was that? There was a, a aubergine in there, and I, I enjoy all vegetables, but aubergines are never yummy. So on Monday, I made a pasta dish with the spinach and uh, this aubergine. And there were also a, bag of, uh, a box of mushrooms in there. Uh, that's my favorite. I could eat it all in one go uh, without sharing. So I diced up this aubergine, the smallest that I could, which is something I usually am just uh, a quick one when it comes to dicing. I don't enjoy uh, fine dicing of vegetables with that just takes a while and I'm not in that, uh, into that. Uh, so I did that, it was still not great and I uh, tried really hard to keep it in the pan as long so it might get uh, some nice uh, brown layer on them it still tasted like mush but uh, it was decent uh, and the spinach was great just normal spinach spinach like a uh, situation but I enjoyed picking up this box I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it more often as I said it's difficult to base your whole uh, week menu around something that you haven't seen yet because it's a surprise it's always a surprise which is hard it's not how i usually work but i enjoy the um the option that they gave me me nobody gave you an option uh and I like the fact that I'm helping uh, food not go to waste. Uh, and then on the other hand, you get uh, great stuff that you can still use. And this aubergine, I'm not going to buy it again, but I had aubergine again, which is not great, but I had it. Uh, so that that's also something, maybe. So yeah, uh, I would suggest you try out the Good To Go if they have options available near you. Because it's a nice app and uh, there are some uh, clips on YouTube, not on my channel. Because who would want to see that? <laughs> but uh, there are people that do challenges with that or they show you what they have in that box. Uh, there is just one tip that I have. Uh, scout the app before you want to try something because then if you scout the app you can uh, see um, uh, when the boxes go on sale because usually they sell out in like two minutes which means that you have to be quick which means also that uh, if you're not quick you don't get a box so I usually try if it is bakery, it uh, goes on sale at a quarter past six. So I usually try to be there before quarter past six, uh, be ready to uh, fully engage and open the app right on time. Uh, if it doesn't appear right then, close the app, open it again, so it will load again. And then there's a big chance that you will <laughs> get your box. But it's always it's always a surprise what's in there, and if I was super duper handy with this YouTube thing, I would plop a video picture of my like uh, my last bakery box on the screen right now. But I am not, so it don't doesn't appear there, and I don't think I have it on the computer, so I couldn't even edit it uh, in at the end or something like that. But yeah. It, I enjoy a good to good to go box. I enjoy the concept of it as well, which is potentially also useful. I like to not waste a lot of stuff. I keep buying grapes, and then when I buy them, I find well, yeah, yummy. I will eat these grapes, and then 
give it two weeks and these grapes are disintegrating in the bowl and I have to throw them away again and then give it a month and I will buy more grapes and it's just uh, I like not to waste a lot of food because I uh, am privileged I can buy food when I want where I want and usually they have in the store what I need but there are people that aren't so uh, if we could not waste as much food there is a lot of food that goes wasted uh, so that would be better generally speaking would be better for everybody I guess so it would be neat if we could all waste less food and an app like that contributes to it because otherwise they will throw it away and uh, as I said I never had something that wasn't uh, good good to eat from it so I think it's something that everybody could check out I did just today buy a loaf of bread so this time I'm not going to be a going to need uh, to buy box but we also have kind of almost reached the end of the video you saw me chat over what's what's happening uh, we furnished the inside completely uh, two and a half no three bedrooms two bathrooms house situation and uh, now I'm doing the outside I decided to do this trick with the pavement not that I you can really tell but I at least gave it a go I know there is a key somewhere on this keyboard that makes uh, the tiles uh, clip the other way but I don't know the key that they can only do half a tile or something or a quarter tile there's a key for that but don't ask me for it because I have no clue but yeah you can see me uh, finishing off the outside sort of right now I wanted to use this table but this only seats five and it's huge and doesn't make any sense at all uh, so we decide against it I do have to say there is at the end of this video are the screenshots uh, so the floor plan is on there and some outside and inside screenshots which looks semi okay ish if you ask me uh, um, this was not a hard voiceover for me no maybe I should talk about stuff more think about something to talk about but I'm going to end my voiceover right here as I said the screenshots are at the end of the video um, uh, if you enjoyed watching thumbs this video up uh, subscribe to my channel so you soon might see another house build why I might not struggle as much with the voiceover again um, yeah uh, my name is Peter and I hope you have a lovely day goodbye